If you're a tech enthusiast or a creative professional, maybe you have noticed something happen in the last couple of weeks. These guys here, they have upped in price about 300%. DRAM prices have absolutely skyrocketed. But here's the thing, this is just the beginning. I have spoken to some of the sources that I'm gonna remain anonymous behind the scenes from some big companies. They've said, put your head between your knees and kiss your bum goodbye. Because it's gonna be rough. But here's the thing, I'm always gonna give you some uh, tips of what to do and how to prepare. So let's take a look why DRAM shortage is happening and what you can do about it. Ah, it's so annoying. I don't want to pay hundreds of dollars to just change my Windows wallpaper just because my Windows isn't licensed. Well, why don't you try Hookies? That's a ton cheaper. And if you use the code TN20, you get it even cheaper. What do you mean? How do I get it and how is it possible? Well, see this video here or the one you're watching. Yeah. Click in the link on the video description, add the Windows 11 CD product to the card, proceed to checkout, add the code and 20 for the extra discount. So what the Windows 11 Pro OEM key is just $23.22. <laughs> yeah. Choose the preferred payment option and complete the purchase. The key will be available on the purchased orders in a few moments. Copy the key and paste it into your Windows activation settings and you're all done. Oh, well, that was easy. Is that Ryan Gosling? Uh, uh, no. Anyway, by the way, the same discount code also works website-wide, so go check out uh, other products, maybe like Microsoft Office. So, every story needs a villain, right? And in this uh, story, we're gonna name him uh, Sam Altman. That's Sam Altman from OpenAI. Let me explain why. Welcome to the channel. This is Tech Notice. We are creative focused PC and tech channel. And if you don't know what DRAM or RAM is, let me very quickly explain that so everyone's on the same page. RAM is just one component in electronics. Most of the time you have a CPU, a processor, that does all the processing. Then you have a GPU that does graphics calculations, but also now AI can run models and do a lot more than just graphics, okay? It's a very powerful other processor, but it processes things all at the same time. That's why the graphics processor is different from CPU, because CPU processes things sequentially. You're just gonna have like a line or conveyor belt that comes to the CPU. It's just gonna tackle all of those equations, problems, all at once sequentially and then that's why they go through here then we've got the ram or ram that's something in the middle so this here stores the temporary info or data that the cpu or the gpu needs to process so when you're working on your laptop smartphones anything there's a bit of data that you're always accessing with but it's not actually stored on your storage it's just kind of the temporary data that we need to process. So that gets stored on the DRAM. And there's only a couple of manufacturers in the world who actually produce that stuff. You might see Corsair, G-Skill, Kingston. Actually, none of them are really DRAM manufacturers. It's the same with GPUs. This is not an NVIDIA GPU. Yes, NVIDIA does give the GPUs to Zotac, but actually this card really, you're buying the cooling in here and then the cooling is attached to the GPU, but the, the GPU also has VRAM. So what is causing the DRAM shortage? Because in a couple of weeks back, there was no shortage and suddenly there's a huge shortage. Here's the thing. DRAM shortage is massively caused by the AI demand. Everyone knows AI. There's a lot of questions about it, but what's happening is the AI companies, they need large data centers servers super powerful to actually run these large language models or other models of the AI to process all the data, to learn, to research, to get better and so on. And because of that, they need the hardware for that. Mr. Sam, yes, Devil guy, he went to the RAM manufacturers and then basically said, I'll have all of it, please. Thank you. And basically bought or guaranteed a buy of future supply, which for the manufacturer of RAM or DRAM is massively good for business. Now, there are two types of DRAM that really gets produced right now. They've stopped producing DDR4 and now it's DDR5. And then there is HBM memory, which is high bandwidth memory that you see in graphics cards 
or higher end AI graphics units. Here's the thing, the HBM is a lot more expensive than DRAM, but the manufacturers are using the same tooling to make the two products. If they could make more of the more expensive products, then they'll make a lot more profit. So then what they've done is they've taken some of the tooling to make the DRAM and then making a lot more HBM memory to actually supply it all to the AI servers and AI demands. Now, I've said the DRAM manufacturers, there are three main companies, Samsung, SK Hynix, and Micron. They make the actual chips inside here. So everyone's familiar with the RAM sticks, but the actual DRAM is underneath this here. SK Hynix is the producer of this one. So G-Skill buys these tiny little squares from SK Hynix, puts them in here, and then makes sure that the memory runs at certain speeds and then sells that to you. There's an interesting thing happening though. Micron also owns the company Crucial. Here's the thing, Micron actually just slashed the Crucial memory department, said, we're not doing that anymore. Usually companies close because they can't either sell or there's no demand, so the market doesn't want them anymore. Crucial, or Micron owns Crucial and supplies its own memory to Crucial, they're all sold out. So they're their own supplier, they can't produce fast enough, and then they've just taken that off and said, we're cutting that off. You might be saying, that's mental, isn't it? Well, it kind of is, and that's why a very interesting thing is happening. Now, Micron slash Crucial because instead of making that cheap DDR5 that we're doing, hey, we're not gonna make that anymore. Let's just make HBM. Do you remember that higher, better memory that goes onto GPUs and AI chips? Yeah, let's make that because we can make that much profit rather than this much profit. It just financially makes sense. Shareholders will be happy, we'll make more profit, and boom, we'll make more money. Hmm, interesting. There are also reports that NVIDIA, when supplying their GPUs to the likes of Zotac, BNY, Asus, all of these companies that you know as GPU manufacturers, the deal that NVIDIA usually has with the GPU manufacturers is that they provide the actual GPU and then they also give DRAM that goes with it so the board partners, the likes of Zotac and other ones, can take the GPU and the VRAM and put it on the board and then do the cooling and power limits and everything else because the performance is massively impacted by the VRAM. That's why Nvidia produces them or gives them together or sells them together really to Zotac and BNY and all the other, you know, board partners. But the thing is, because there's such a DRAM shortage, Nvidia has now said to the board partners, you're on your own with the VRAM supply, which is pretty crazy. Now, if Zotac goes to Micron, Samsung, SK Hynix says, um, can we have some, you know, VRAM for our GPUs? What's Micron, Samsung and SK Hynix gonna say? Sorry? Who are you again? They're such a tiny little guy in the pond. Do you think they're gonna give some VRAM to Zotac? If Nvidia or AMD are making these massive AI chips and buying all the data from them, they are gonna go so back in the queue that there's probably gonna be a GPU shortage as well, just because of the VRAM. So because of the VRAM, we're creating other shortage as well. Now these reports are pretty scary actually. As you can see, everybody's going for the AI balloon. And Sam Altman then went to SK, Hynix, Micron, Samsung, all of them or some of them and said, can I basically have as much as you have? I've been uh, behind the scenes talking to some of the manufacturers, some of the laptop manufacturers, for example. And when we learned about their new, you know, upcoming uh, laptops, what they said is their RAM manufacturers have said to them that, listen, don't do any forecasting with us. Just take what we give you. <laughs> do you understand what that means? That means that let's say, it's MSI, Asus, uh, Lenovo, Dell, whoever makes the laptop, they can't advertise the retail price for this because they don't know how much RAM they're gonna put in it. They don't know if the RAM is gonna be available. And this is not just laptops. You know these guys? Smartphones, tablets, consoles. You all have waited for the Steam PC. It's exactly the same. That's why there's no price for the Steam PC yet because they don't know if they can get their DRAM. But here's the thing, I have a prediction that Steam PC might just be canceled because they might've got a good deal with AMD to get the chip to have the graphics in CPU, but 
because of DRAM shortage, they can't sell it, or it's gonna be so much more expensive than any of the consoles, any of the other alternatives that have been on the market. So we'll see what's gonna happen. But this is just kind of the core of the issue what's happening as you can see this is going to trickle to everything we might get delays in 2026 in product announcements or we might get a much lower capacity of ram on the laptops just because you know they don't have stuff so what can we expect for 2026 number one expect the prices of all the tech to go up and this is not just dram because We've heard reports of AMD raising their CPU prices because apparently the CPUs go to the same PCs. So they're just like, let's raise the pricing on that as well. My prediction is everything's gonna go up. So I just looked on Amazon, 64 gigabyte kits went for $250 a couple of weeks ago. Now there's 700. That is insane. And that's just TDR5. HBM is gonna go, oh my goodness, to a whole other level. So what can we do with this information? I've been advised by another different manufacturer behind the scenes who, as we were learning some of their new upcoming products 2026 that you're gonna see in the channel soon, 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 he took me on the side and said, hey, listen, if you need anything, any tech in the next two years, buy it now, this Black Friday, because you're not gonna see a Black Friday or deal section like this for the next couple of years. And I was like, whoa, I thought it was bad, but I didn't know it was that bad. And these guys are like inside. They know like what's happening behind the curtains, realizing how much people are actually buying, not just the marketing. Hey, woo, this is good. So my advice to you is you can take it or leave it. If you are planning to buy anything in the next six months and you can afford it now, I highly would recommend doing it right now because we're gonna pay a bigger price later on. If you need a GPU upgrade or something like that, just get it. Okay, let me know guys what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.